Hi guys, right now I'm coming to you from my apartment, in my sofa, in my living room, and I just wanted to record a little video to tell you guys what's been going on for about a year and a half now. That's been a real struggle, and I realize keeping you sort of in the dark might not have been the best uh, choice, but I've been really scared, and it's just been a real struggle. And now I'm, I feel like I'm ready to let you guys in on, um, on everything. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not one to show weakness or, um, show myself vulnerable in that way. Uh, at least not in social media, but at the same time, I want to be an honest person and I'm trying to put out some good and useful information out there and some genuine inspiration uh, from life experience that I hope someone else might find useful. So here it is. A year and a half ago, I started uh, experiencing some different symptoms. I was losing hair. I was very tired. I was feeling very sad and depressed, anxious. Uh, I was always cold. My hands were cold. My feet were cold. I was getting dizzy. My blood pulse, sorry, my blood pressure was really low. My pulse was really low and even lower than it should be when you're a competitive athlete training as much as I do. So I had all these signs and I took tests, blood tests, found out that I have something called hypothyroidism. And hypothyroidism is when you're um, your thyroid, that's right here, it's a gland that produces hormone and when those levels of hormone is not exactly in balance, either it overproduces or underproduces, so over is hyperthyroidism, I have hypo, so uh, I have too low levels of thyroid hormone and it caused my body to go into rest mode, so everything was brought down, everything from metabolism to what I told you, body temperature, blood pressure, and it's really a scary disease because it's similar to being depressed, it's similar to uh, being burned out, uh, so you have all these symptoms and you don't really know what's causing what. Luckily for me, I took blood tests, I found out that it was my thyroid causing uh, all of the symptoms and I started on medication. A year and a half later, this Christmas, I was feeling worse than ever. Um, so I've been on sick leave since right before Christmas uh, and I have not been working as much as I used to be working this fall. I've barely done anything and uh, the same for summer. Um, Miraculously, I managed to finish my bachelor degree this last summer, so the summer of 2017, uh, but school was also a struggle. I'm used to having it pretty easy in school. I get things fast. When I read it, I only have to read it once. When I'm in a lecture, it gets stuck in my head. Um, so I usually just go through notes maybe once or twice before a test. Um, so I'm a fast learner, but I felt that I was becoming slow. Uh, it took time for me to understand. Sometimes I got completely lost in lectures. I had to pour caffeine uh, into my body in order to stay awake because I needed to sleep several times during the day. Um, and that also happens when you have a hypothyroidism. You get very tired, you have no energy. Um, and not having any energy and not having any metabolism causes you to gain a lot of weight. I have not gained as much weight as I probably should have because uh, of my training and nutrition and the knowledge that I have. Uh, with that said, I want to point out that I have not put my body under, under more strain than it's already under. So when I say that I've been working not to gain weight, I mean walking for 40 minutes in the morning before breakfast because um, I still have to, I have to take my medication on an empty stomach and I'm usually very hungry when I wake up so for me to be able to wait before I have my breakfast walking was a very good option and it's also helped my metabolism a little bit maybe I burned a teeny tiny bit of fat 
um, in the morning, but no interval training, no super pulse training, uh, just very slow pace walking. Why I've been hesitant uh, to tell you is because I'm not 100% sure of what is actually wrong. I'm going to be honest and say that this is a completely new feel for me. We do have it in the family, but just as with every other disease, you don't talk about it until you get it yourself. That's when you realize that there's been a lot of people around you with similar problems. Since we've had a lot of cancer and autoimmune diseases in the family, uh, I've been very scared ever since the day I found out that I'm doing an MRI. And an MRI is you use a special type of camera. I hope I explained this the right way because my brother actually works with General Electric with these kinds of cameras. But it's a camera that takes images of your brain. So uh, I'm going to take pictures of my brain and of my pituitary gland um, because my thyroid is not producing any hormone but we've also found that my pituitary is not producing the signal hormone that the thyroid needs in order to um, to find the balance and to produce the right amount of hormone so the problem is not actually in the thyroid but in the pituitary so I have not done that yet and I'm so thankful for my friends and my family and for Pontus for every day reminding me not to think negative thoughts and not to be scared of something that I know nothing about yet. Um, obviously, having followed my mom to do her MRIs when she had brain tumors, uh, of course that thought has crossed my mind and of course that has scared me because I don't know what's causing this. Um, Luckily, from what I've heard and from what my doctor has told me, it is very unusual uh, to the point of never happening to have a tumor in your pituitary. So there is something else uh, causing this and uh, I'm just trying not to think about it too much because then I just get scared and I start googling and Googling things can be very bad when it comes to diseases because you pretty much find out you're gonna die in five minutes or something. Everything sounds worse on Google, uh, so don't Google. I'm gonna try to make as much material as possible and post as much as I can uh, about this, about my disease moving forward because there's not that much information out there and I feel like it's like some kind of advertisement for dieting. What we need to do is work with our bodies and not against our bodies and not try to push it into something that it's shut off for a reason. So I'm gonna try to find healthy ways in helping my body and just post about it in social media and hope that someone out there, you, you or you, um, might find it beneficial and that it works for you too. I haven't gained as much weight as the doctor thought I would. I still have gained weight and since I have not had the energy I need in order to do the training that I, that I usually do and the fact that I have so low metabolism, of course my body has changed and that's also something I felt pretty hypocritical about because I'm trying to be this role model where you're supposed to be proud of your body no matter what, that you should love yourself, whatever body type you have, and at the same time, I've just been posting old pictures where I'm in the shape that I was before I got sick because I'm so uncomfortable with the shape that I'm in right now. And I actually did a photo shoot this fall uh, in November uh, for a lingerie company and I have never been so uncomfortable in my entire life. I felt so out of shape. Everyone was trying to tell me that I was looking great. I was exactly what they wanted, but it wasn't good enough for me. And I felt so uncomfortable and I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to look at the website to see if the pictures were posted. Um, Pontus, my boyfriend actually had to check for me or we checked together. Um, I have not told you guys about it, I have not posted about it because I've been so ashamed because it's not the body that I'm used to. It feels like a different body because I've gained weight. This is something that I need to work on and I know that there are so many people out there who needs to work on it and 
instead of hiding and not telling you guys the truth, I'm just thinking, let's do all this together. I'm not always healthy, but I'm trying to be. I'm not always happy with my body, but I'm gonna try to be. And I think that social media is incredible in the way that we can connect with each other and we can help each other out. We can track each other's progress. So I'm gonna start showing more of the actual me and let you guys in on what's actually going on instead of just showing um, pictures from different uh, modeling jobs. And I mean, I'm gonna show you that too because that's, that's what I love doing and I'm not gonna quit just because of this. I'm not gonna let my hypothyroidism take away the business that I've created for myself since 2011 when I won my first fitness model competition and, and entered this industry. I'm gonna keep on fighting and I'm gonna keep doing what I love, but it's gonna take some time to be healthy again. And when I have my body working as it should, um, just focusing on training for health and building a strong body and focusing on uh, performance in training, performance in nutrition, um, the appearance results will just follow by themselves. You don't have to focus so much on how you're looking. Um, and that's a note for me, not just for you, it's for me too. So, goals for 2018. It's a year to get healthy. It's a year to get back on the horse that I've had to jump off for a while in order to focus all my energy on getting healthy. And after that, it's pretty much just time to start pounding the pavement because I have so many ideas on what I wanna do um, and I'm far from done. It's pretty much a new beginning. And I guess it was a lesson that I needed to learn because I thought I was comfortable with myself and I thought I had the self-esteem that surpassed a certain appearance. Turns out I didn't, so now I know I need to work more on me and work more on myself and being comfortable in whatever shape or size I'm in. And I think we should all do that together. Let's start communicating with each other. Um, send me DMs on Instagram. Just let me know what you're thinking and let's do this together.